Google has now launched a new Google Vault interface. It uses material design, so it's going to be a standard look with the admin console and all the rest of services like Google Groups. So if you go to the application launcher, Vault still opens the classic Google Vault interface. It hasn't been announced yet when that's going to change. So for now, if you want to access the new interface, you have to go to vault.google.com. Now you'll see the new interface here reflecting uh, the changes. This shows retentions, matters, and reports on the home screen. You can click on the sections and you can see all the default retention rules and their status, creation, and actions after expiration. You can take um, all the necessary actions right on the screen. So it's on the right hand side, there's an action button. You can delete that or you can create new if you go to custom rules. Um, so this is a new interface for creating custom retention policies and you can hit create. It's a step-by-step -step guide. So it's uh, way easier and more intuitive. You can select the service, say Gmail for now, hit continue, select the scope, which is the organizational unit that you want to affect. We'll specify contractors in this case and we'll go to conditions. So you have start date and end date and terms. So you can leave this blank or just select the time frame that you want to affect. And terms, if you're not familiar with how that works, you can hover over the exclamation mark and click on learn more. That's gonna take you to the support help center article with all the search operators available for uh, all the services. All right. So if you hit continue, then you go to the last step, which is uh, duration and action. You can specify the retention period, which will be in days. And you can enter the amount of days for that custom retention rule and the action after expiration. So same actions and expiration. That'll be uh, either purge only permanently deleted messages, purge messages from Gmail mailboxes and permanently deleted messages, but not drafts. And uh, last one, which is including drafts. So that hasn't changed, just the interface, which looks much better and will help you go through this in an easier way. All right, so we're gonna go back and we'll take a look at the settings. So under settings, you'll find that you can change the retention um, rule for Google meet this is actually affected by the retention in the drive rules but if you want to switch this be careful because you could be deleting the uh, recordings permanently um just be careful with this section okay all right so going back to the home we can take a look at matters so it's a new table view with checkboxes and you can close these matters if they have been already addressed. Um, you can filter by name. So it's going to give you a filterable table view, uh, not only by name, but you have uh, predefined filters at the top. So either closed matters, deleted matters, or by owner. So you can specify owned by anyone, owned by me, or shared with me. And audits, right? So reports. This is going to take you to the same audit logs that you used to have in the classic view. This audit logs are going to be synced within both views, within both interfaces, for as long as the uh, classic interface is active. There isn't a date yet. For this to be deprecated and Google will announce at least three months in advance prior to deprecating this interface. That is all we have for now. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.